I'm uh, Dr. Manel Abdel Malik. I am an associate professor in the Department of Medicine within the Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology at Duke University. My area of research is in obesity and non alcoholic fatty liver disease. So, fructose is a monosaccharide, a simple sugar, which is found abundantly in fruits and plants. And likewise, glucose is also a monosaccharide or a simple sugar found in fruits and plants. Uh, the chemical composition of fructose and glucose are similar. However, the chemical structure of these two sugars is different, and the metabolism of these two sugars is different. Glucose is dependent on the secretion of insulin for its metabolism, whereas fructose does not require insulin for metabolism and also utilizes a mechanism of um, energy utilization, or ATP, for its metabolism. Based on statistics from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, it appears that the consumption of fructose has increased exponentially since 1970, with estimates approaching greater than 1,000 percent. Um, the consumption of fructose has also paralleled uh, the rise in obesity and diabetes in this country. High fructose corn syrup is found in many, many processed and packaged foods. However, it's, it's mostly consumed in the United States in the form of soft drinks or um, artificially sweetened beverages. So non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is a clinical pathologic condition um, defined based on the presence and abundance of fat in the liver in patients who do not, do not consume alcohol. Um, patients who have fatty liver disease have a stronger propensity to being obese, diabetic, and having metabolic syndrome. Some patients with fatty liver disease may go on to develop what we call steatohepatitis or fatty inflammation of the liver and a minority of those patients may go on to develop cirrhosis of the liver and complications of cirrhosis such as liver cancer or require need for liver transplantation. So ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. Uh, simply put, it is the currency of cellular metabolism. Um, ATP is required uh, for cellular respiration, cellular function, cell division, uh, and many of the um, metabolic processes of the human body. So one of our interests in defining whether fructose um, may result in liver injury um, was to evaluate whether one of the mechanisms by which fructose may be associated with altered metabolism and the increased risk for liver injury in patients with fatty liver disease was to evaluate, evaluate what may be happening with um, energy reserve or hepatic ATP. Our study was an analysis of the look-ahead fatty liver disease ancillary study. It evaluated 244 patients who were obese and diabetic, of which we evaluated uh, laboratory studies, uh, uric acid levels, um, as well as phosphorus and magnetic resonance spectroscopy. Twenty-five subjects of these 244 underwent an intravenous fructose challenge. Um, Intravenous fructose is known historically to alter um, and uh, hepatic ATP levels. Fructose is rapidly absorbed in the bloodstream, processed and metabolized through the liver, and alterations and fluxes in energy homeostasis may be noted. We evaluated specifically the dietary intake of patients who were in this ancillary study to assess whether dietary fructose consumption in, uh, was associated with different alterations in responses as assessed by hepatic ATP measures to an intravenous fructose challenge.
ATP was measured using phosphorus-31 labeled magnetic resonance spectroscopy. Uh, this technology allows us not only to measure the quantity of fat in the liver, but also uh, inorganic phosphate res um, reserves such as phosphodiesterases, diphosphate, triphosphate levels in the liver. So uric acid is a byproduct of purine metabolism. It is also um, a downstream byproduct of uh, adenosine uh, monophosphate, which really is a precursor for ATP. Uh, the increased production of uric acid does uh, result potentially in uric acid stones, has been associated with hypertension, diabetes, and metabolic syndrome. Higher fructose consumption in the diet correlated with impaired recovery following an intravenous fructose challenge. Uh, this impaired recovery was associated with higher levels of uric acid, suggesting that either um, increased fructose consumption or uric acid levels um, can predict impaired energy homeostasis in the liver. Such a mechanism may underlie the pathogenesis and or um, potential for disease progression in patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So this, new, this data uh, is exploratory and allows us to probe further questions as to what differences may exist between sugars, how the metabolism of such sugars may have implications on uh, human health and disease. And this study does pro only probe one potential mechanism, which is the association of fructose with altered hepatic energy homeostasis and uric acid.